Hi, my name is Jeff Kossi Klein. I'm a political activist, speaker, and consultant. And right now I work at Each One Teach One, where I lead um, the Maya Yimfo, which is a uh, microfinancing fund for uh, political educators and black activists and African activists that want to uh, empower um, black communities. I am uh, very grateful and also very humbled uh, to be awarded the um, Hertha School uh, Alumni Achievement Award. But there's one thing that is very important for me to mention, uh, and that is that, of course, fighting racism and also the work that I'm doing is not an individual thing. It's not about the individual, but it is about the community. We can only truly affect change in this regards uh, through cooperation, bringing in different perspectives and um, not only different, different perspectives but also different people with their talents, with their ideas of uh, you know, how black education for example, in what direction black education can go, uh, what empowerment actually truly means and what it entails. What we need in Germany is a fundamental shift in the way we understand racism. Racism in Germany is being understood as uh, you know, a default of the individual, like a, a flaw that an individual has. Um, but it's not as easy as that. Of course, there are people who hold racist uh, sentiments and have racist attitudes. But the, what really cements racism is the structural um, level to it and this structure level is first and foremost a reflection of uneven and unequal distributions of resources and public, public goods such as education or healthcare or housing. In order for us to uh, really you know, change the conditions that black people and other marginalized people find themselves in, we need to address the power dynamics and distribution of resources. What we have realized is that black communities, uh, in Germany especially, um, we often are organized uh, in uh, informal uh, settings. But right now, the way that the funding, funding structure is constituted in Germany especially, in order for you to get funding, you need to be uh, a fine, for example, so an association. Individual people or initiatives, they have a hard time finding funding for the projects and ideas that they want to, uh, want to implement. So what we at my Yinfong want to do is we want to meet people where they are. We want to meet those activists, uh, you know, where they are. And then we try to make it possible for them to get funding or where they don't need to change in a certain way, where they don't need to change the trajectory of their project to fit a certain narrative that has been given by a, you know, one of the funding uh, institutions. But we want to fund them, fund them with the work that they really want to do. What is, uh, I think, special about the My Yimfall is that it is community-based. So what we did is we have a uh, council, so to say, um, of people coming from different black communities, coming from different backgrounds, different community organizations as well, um, who came together and uh, kind of established what the My Yim Fund is actually funding and what, you know, what the direction of the funding uh, should be. So this approach we also want to kind of widen our idea and the general idea of you know what can be effective in terms of empowerment because those are people who come from certain communities that even within black communities sometimes are marginalized uh, so for example if we look at like we have projects from black trans people we have projects from um, uh, people from the deaf community that there's so much diversity within the black communities alone that the funding structure should kind of reflect that and make it possible that many different perspectives actually can get funding. Institutions uh, can do a lot actually, but first uh, maybe they need to um, put money, put the money or put their actions where their mouths are. For example, funding uh, communities. This is providing assistance uh, without trying to kind of dominate projects or where those projects are going or what, what they focus on, um, but just making um, themselves and making the funding that they provide accessible to marginalized communities and understanding the communities that they actually want to fund. Institutions can also uh, do a lot by looking at themselves and changing from within and also looking, of course, at their own history, how they have also contributed to establish uh, structural racism and how could they can now affect the most change by changing themselves and then kind of being role models for other uh, actors and for the general public. I think there are, there's a lot of ways that institutions can, can help to bring that change.